When you think about how dogs communicate, what first comes to mind? Maybe you watch for a wagging tail. Dogs communicate with one another and with us using their own elegant, non-verbal language. They use so much more than just their tails, though tails are important. Dogs also use facial expressions, ear positions and overall body posture to signal their intentions. Breaking body language down one body part at a time can be helpful in building your observation and interpretation skills. It is vitally important to consider the whole body and the context though, in order to truly hear what a dog is saying. Then you can watch the dogs in your life and start to learn what they're telling you. Eyes. When looking at dog's eyes, pay attention to the white part of the eye, the scara, and consider the focus and intensity of the dog's gaze. When a dog is feeling tense, his eyes may appear rounder than normal, or they may show a lot of white around the outside dilated pupils can also be a sign of fear or arousal, these can make the eyes look glassy. These signs indicate that a dog is feeling threatened, stressed or frightened. A relaxed dog will often squint, so that his eyes become almond-shaped with no white showing at all, like this Labrador on the right. Mouth A relaxed dog like this Labrador will likely have his mouth open, and may be panting, with no facial or mouth tension. The corners of his mouth may be turned upward slightly. A fearful or tense dog will generally keep his mouth closed, and may pull his lips back at the corners, also known as a long lip dot. He may also be panting rapidly. A panting dog who suddenly closes his mouth in response to something in the environment may also be indicating increased stress. Drooling when no food is present can also be a sign of extreme fear or stress. A dog displaying a physical warning may start to wrinkle the top of his muzzle, often next pulling his lips up vertically to display his front teeth. This Doberman is displaying this behavior, called an offensive pucker, while standing over a bone. Her muzzle is wrinkled and the corner of her mouth is short and forms a C-shape. This warning often comes with a tense forehead. Hard eyes, note her round eyes with a lot of white showing, and the fully dilated pupil, this dog was. Also growling when the photo was taken, all very clear warnings to anyone approaching that bone. Some dogs display a submissive grin or smile. This is also a gesture where a dog shows his front teeth but a smiling dog is doing just that. He usually shows a lowered head, wagging tail, flattened ears, a soft body posture and soft, squinty eyes along with those teeth. Here is the same Doberman smiling as she dances around greeting her favorite person. Note the softness of her almond-shaped eyes, with no glassiness and no white showing at all. Teeth don't always mean aggression, it is important to consider the whole body and the context to understand what a dog is saying. Yawning and lip licking may be an early sign of stress, particularly when accompanied by a tight mouth and often a whining sound, as this dog is doing. She is being approached by a new, strange dog. Ears Dogs have a wide variety of ear types. Although it may be easier for us to see ear position in dogs with erect ears, even floppy-eared dogs like basset hounds can move the base of their ears forward and back to show different emotions, just look at the direction of the base of the ear. When a dog is relaxed, his ears may be slightly back or out to the sides. As a dog becomes more aroused, the ears will move forward, pointing toward a subject of interest. When their ears are most forward their foreheads often wrinkle. Tail When observing a dog's tail, there are two things to consider, the position of the base of the tail, and how the tail is moving. A relaxed dog holds his tail in a neutral position, extending out from the spine, the middle photo below, or maybe below spine level. The movement may be a loose wag from side to side or a sweeping circular motion. As the dog becomes more excited or aroused, his tail usually rises above spine level, as the picture to the right shows. As he becomes more aroused, the dog may hold his tail high with little movement, or he may move his tail side to side in short, 